Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are in Westland Survival. How are we all doing guys? Hope you're all well. Alrighty, so welcome to another update. We have the September update issue and this is uh, version 0.12.2. Now, doesn't seem like a significant update at first glance, but I think this is gonna be one for the future. And what I mean by that is setting some foundations in place and getting them ready for a possible larger update to come in future. So I'll explain that throughout the video, what I think about that and where I feel that the direction of the game might go moving forward. So I'm just gonna quickly brief you guys on the update itself. So for the uh, September update, so we'll get right into it. So finally, the new resources available in the game, ash tree, uh, chromite ore, granite, fine hide and linen. Now, we, so for now, sorry, we can only find these in the Spirit Cave, Cannon Trial, Bandit Stash, or extra, sorry, Exchange with the Traders. Uh, three new locations. So the Mixed Forest, Abandoned Mine, Buffalo, Pasture. New repair system. From now on, you can repair any kind of equipment except Indians, weapons, and clothing. In order to repair, you need special repair kits which can be crafted in the workshop. Some items have been removed from the game, copper and bronze wire, copper rivet, all the recipes for these resources have been changed accordingly. New bounty contracts. So you can track the dangerous uh, outlaws in the south and north, but be very careful out there. And from now on, uh, you can use the workbenches without uh, building storage. So that's always good now. So finally, I, I think I actually made a mention about this when they did the initial beta, which was a little bit uh, controversial that I felt at the time, but I'm glad that they sort of you know, uh, changed that around. Now that's probably due to you know play feedback and all that sort of good stuff. Um, now fixes fix the bug when you could kill a tamed animal in spirit cave. Fix the bug when you open the chest visually. Became bigger in the northern bandits camp, and fixed a bug when some players were displayed in white in the town. And finally fixed a bug with incorrect. Did, uh, sorry, incorrect spirit points number required to tame animals in the canyon trials. Now, obviously there was a little disclaimer for iOS users. I believe that's already been um, finalized. So I think our iOS friends do have the capacity now to play the new update, which is good for them. Quickly just check out the uh, simple repair kits, the standard repair kit and what it involves. Um, so yeah, got quite a bit of resources that I can actually use this myself. Um, I can't do the fine repair kit just yet because I need some cotton cloth. But for now, um, and then all the steel items will be made available once we upgrade. So we're going to need a little bit of resources and time and effort to get this all done. And then finally you got the advanced repair kit. So a couple of other things to note as well, we will have the ability to finally get the armor uh, uh, clothing available to us and we can start uh, utilizing um, the better uh, armor, I guess. So at the end of the day, foundry will be upgradable as would be the forge and this will finally allow us to create our own sabers, which I think moving forward, I think a lot of us are gonna start using the saber in particular, just because of the, um, the ease of weapon um that it is and the craftability for it i think that might be a good go for a lot of people but again it all depends on how um how that will pan out workbench um finally upgraded to level four and we can finally get the steel components and then the gun workbench and then we can finally go through the level four get the colt and uh what else is there that is our linen, this is our repair bench. So that's what it tells us what we need if you want to repair that particular um, weapon, whatever it might be, which is good. Um, for now, I think we'll duck out and we'll go quickly visit some of the new areas. Now, as, as I said before at the beginning when I was explaining the, um, the update notes, we can't find these naturally in the standard zones right now, so being all these uh, newer resources. But basically we've got three new uh, zones. So we're gonna quickly run over to the Buffalo Pasture. 
check it out. Now, I think it's going to be much more the same as the other two. Actually, yes, so one over here. And actually, my guy hasn't ran over just yet. There we go. So we've got one over here. And then we've got the other one over here. And then we have this one here that we're going to enter into. So now, look, at this stage, the, it doesn't, on paper right now, it doesn't appear that there's much of anything that's going on. Um, and some might question why did we uh, the devs add these into the game right now. Um, so they're pretty much standard Buffalo. I haven't actually had the ability to uh, attack one just yet, so I might actually go ahead and do that anyway. Oops. So you still got the standard outlaws and things like that. And obviously be careful who you're going to attack and whatnot. Um, but for that reasoning there, I might actually, because I want to do a quick test. I want to do a quick test and I want to get a gun. If I've got one, great. If not, um, I'll just use what I've got. So I should have something over here. Should, should, should. Pepper box. I don't want to use the pepper box. I want something decent. I don't think I have like a musket or anything like that. Doesn't look like I do. Right. Um, wheel lock pistol. That doesn't really do much. The average compass of bow. Do I want to take that? Mm. Yeah. All right. I don't have anything here so I think that does it does 150 ah, it's just as good as that okay anyway did you run away did I get it all right so I'm gonna have to oh ah, you guys Let's quickly dock it out real quick. Now, I just want to see if the nicer hide or the, the, I think it's called fine hide, I believe it is, is in the game. Or can they be um, found here? Which I don't think there is, so I'm just going to prove it to you anyway. I don't know why I said that, but anyway. It's just completely contradicted what I just said beforehand. So, <laughs> why did I say that? I have no idea. Anyway. So for now, what I think, once these buffaloes come back to me anyway, because they will, um, I, would, I, I would think that this zone here, or possibly the, the red zone for the buffalo pasture, will become the hunter ground for the fine hide uh, for us to um, you know, collect, I guess, at the end of the day. So I think that's what's, where that's going to be. Um, all right, so we've got a few, at the moment, there's a few bandits Oops, let's just run away and take you out accordingly. And do you have anything of interest? You do not. But yeah, I, I would like to think that this will be either this zone or, as I said, the red zone to the buffalo pasture will be the hunting ground. So think of all this right now as placeholders. So these zones here are obviously going to be um revamped oh take that and i'll take that so i would think that these things will be revamped in a way where in future updates whether it's going to be like the october update or november update i'm sure there's going to be a massive update later on that will um and look at all these buffaloes look at you guys everywhere oh my god um yeah so so long as you don't hit them or hurt them, they're, they're not going to bother you, which is a good thing. But yeah, there's no point sort of going in here much too long or anyway. I just want to sort of give you a brief looking. And I'm sure that, you know, being that the update's already been out for about a day or two, that you guys have already sussed it out for yourselves and sort of came to the same type of conclusion. But let's just head out anyway. And we're going to go over to the abandoned mine. And as I said, I think now that these zones are just going to be little placeholders for us to get to know the areas themselves. And I would like to think that possibly the next update, um, we will definitely see 
uh, some changes, some improvements to these three zones. But like I said, I'm guessing that the buffalo pasture, the red zone will be where we'll find the newer hide material and possibly cotton as well. And, um, and the other reason why I say that is that you find a lot of these already here. I'm oh, sorry, linen, what am I saying? Is it linen, cotton? I'm pretty sure it's, no, I'm pretty sure it's linen. Sorry, my bad guys. Um, but yeah, so I would think that this zone here will be designated and refreshed and revamped to comply with the new materials that we'll find. And that this one will stay as it is. And possibly a lot of these materials that we'll find here already would be changed over here. Now, let's go over to the abandoned mine. And again, I don't expect too much out of the zone either. Now, it does say that we, well, I mean, it says abandoned mine for a reason. So whether it be like a, a mine shaft or something like that, I'm not too sure if that has been implemented into the game just yet. I don't think it has, to be honest with you, but we're gonna check it out. Okay, so let's have a quick squeeze in here. So we've got a few cougars. There's a black jaguar over here. And I think I'm good with the cougars as well, so I don't have to worry about them. So let's do a quick run around at the moment. And I'm just gonna get some cactus fruit while I'm on my way. So a bit of stone, bit of shale. And I think there would be tin ore in this zone as well. So the cougars are fine with me. So I'm just going to sort of make my way around, just do a quick scan of the map. So there's our tin ore. And I'm just going to sneaky deaky eye over here and take you out. And I would like to get more of this as well because you do definitely need it for uh, fuel and whatnot. And I, I think that's probably one thing that they sort of done as well with um, in preparation for the update as well is the removal of the, the fuel station. It, it's going to take a lot longer for us to um, craft and manufacture some of these newer items that have come into the game. And I think that they've done that, you know, by design. And it, but when you sort of think about it, why would you have everything as, as it is now and as easy as it has sort of been in the past to, um, you know, craft certain materials? And, you know, with the use of um, uh, the workstations. Whoop, let's just get out of the way. Just got out of there just in the nick of time. Let's take that while I'm here. Uh, some people have actually come across, because I was reading through the Discord as well, that there's like a, an abandoned style looking house. So I wanted to see if there was anything there that that's already here that I can see, which doesn't appear that way. Um, which is a bit of a bummer. Unless if I actually misread that wrong, I'm not too sure, or, or misinterpreted the um, the actual uh, screenshot that was taken. I would, I thought that that was the case, but who knows? Whether it might pop up from time to time, I'm not too sure. But as we sort of breaking down the brown coal. Let me know how you guys are finding the update as well. Um, are you guys enjoying it? Is it, you know, a bit of a an okay update by, you know, by standards? Um, like I said, I think it's a foundation update and I'm gonna treat it as such. So I think it's a good update and hopefully I would think that this would set the tone for when the next update comes around, that we're gonna have a much larger or more impactful uh, update itself but I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of that. Um, but that's just my thought process with it. So yeah, I doubt that there's anything over here that's gonna constitute what I saw, which is a shame because I would have liked to have seen something here to at least show you guys. But again, I think you guys would have made uh, regular trip, trips already by now to uh, the this zone and the other two zones so i would like to think that that would be the case but as you can see there's just a lot of standard stuff there's really not much any, of anything here so we're going to duck out and we're just going to head on over to the next zone and um, check that out and i want to hit up some traders just to see what they um what they show us and what we can sort of grab get our hands on as well uh so let's run over here 
and I'll probably head up to town and may go over to the traders in the south over here and we'll suss out what they've got. Alrighty, so I would think that the mixed forest might come with ash and the lark um, trees. I think that's what it's called. But there's no lark at the moment in game, so I don't know if that was pulled or if that was still in game. I didn't actually pay, to, pay attention beforehand, so um, for now what they've done is they've only just simply added the ash uh, into the game. Oop. We've got a big old bear here. Let's just get out of his, um, his main attack. Thank you, dude. And I'll just take some of that. I'll see what you were protecting. Hopefully something good. Um, all right, well, I'll take those. So right now, just a whole bunch of oak, a bit of coal. Like I said, I'm here anyway. I might as well just take the coal. So I will definitely need some of this. So yeah, so this is my theory behind this. That they've done it in such a way where you're not gonna actually find any of the materials yet. And this is obviously, as I said, by design. So um, sort of stinting the, or stint or stunt. Anyway, slowing down player progression. That's what I'm sort of trying to explain here. So the reason that they've done it this, done it this way is probably the smartest move that the developers could have done. And the reason why that I say that is that we don't grow tired and bored of the actual update straight away. So that's my thought process with it. And I think I'm probably pretty much on the money with it when I say that. So why, you know, release all the items into the game readily available for everyone to sort of grab. Um, and then obviously max, max themselves out again and then obviously start crying out for another update. So that is why I think they've done it this way. And like I said, the smartest move, the smartest play for them. Um, I think they've done it right. They've just given us a, a snippet, a trickle of these um, new materials. And it's up to us to obviously find them in game and that's gonna encourage us to go into other zones. So basically things like the, the Canyon Trials um, or the Spirit Cave, I believe it was, where we could find some of these items without having to go to traders and trade for them. I think that's probably the best move for them to sort of integrate into some of these um, zones and find them accordingly. So we don't know how bad or how um, how hard it will be to grind to find all these uh, rarer items because that's what they are right now. That they are essentially rare, and it's going to be a lot harder for us to obtain them uh, as we sort of go along. Obviously, once the development catches up. They're going to reintroduce it in other ways where we can find them. We can find, um, you know, uh, granite uh, nodes or deposits, however you want to call them. And we will have that ability just to sort of craft, uh, sorry, uh, harvest them as per normal. So that will be my thought process, uh, process behind it. And I think that's probably um, bang on there. So right now, oh, there's nothing interesting here. Well, you know. That's no good. Let's go find the other traders and quickly check out. There's a quest over here. That's fine. Here we go. Alrighty. Do we have anything? Yes, we do. So, essentially for us, we can either trade basic materials or we can just purchase everything, which I've just done. Probably not the best thing to do, but I've done it. <laughs> Um, and you've just got the standard bits and pieces over here. I'm definitely not going to buy any of those right now. Um, let's see, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Absolutely nothing that I'm interested in right now. And let's see, you over here. What do you have for me? And you don't have anything that I want either. Oh, that's rather disappointing. Um, let's see if these guys have actually changed. I think the gunsmith fella should be still the same. Uh, yep, so fried fish in, in exchange for weapon repairs. And how about you, my friend? Uh, right now you have another. And I think that's everyone. Yeah. 
Yep, I don't believe there's anyone else over here. Which is a no problem whatsoever. All right, so let's do the big run. We'll run all the way to the south of the trader. Uh, the southern traders, I should say. Okie dokie, let us burn a lot of resources in doing so. But I'll do it for you guys for the video, of course. And that should be the um, the outlaw. Uh, yeah, I think that's the outlaw one. The event, which is fine, I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, so... Basically, these three are just added in for now, which is fine. Alright, let's check out the traders. What do they have? Will I get some ash? I'm not too sure. Um, will I get the newer hive? I don't know. Linen, that's what I'm after. All these are now relevant. Okay. All right, guys, howdy, howdy. What do you have for me? Hey, there we go. So here's the linen. So we can either trade what we've got there. They're exactly the same. And these things will trade up in the next uh, 12, well, sorry, 13 hours, I should say. So is it worth it doing it this way? Absolutely not. Why am I doing it? So I can show you guys. There we go. I've got a full stack. And what do you have, my friend? You do not have the hide. Well, that's not fair. Well, at least this way you guys get to see that. I might even just come back here later on once I've got some cotton. Because cotton's going to really hold me back on this. Um, that's actually going to be quite expensive over time. Um, but it, And everything else in between. But look. That's the way that this sort of works for now. And this is what I mean by do, uh, doing this as a trickle effect. The expense in coins, it doesn't look like much to what I've just done now. <coughs> Excuse me. But you got to think about it. Over time, if you keep doing it in its current state, it's going to cost you. And the rate of you guys getting coins, it's obviously slowed down over time as well. So um, veteran players that have been playing this for quite some time have uh, built up quite a bit of, um, you know, stack full of coins, which they'd be more inclined to uh, use them right now just so they can progress in the game to give them something to do. So in saying that, I think, yes, um, it might be worth it for them, for that type of demographic. But for newer players or for players that have sort of just returned to the game like myself, um, may or may or be more hesitant actually to invest in coinage. But if you guys play the game regularly, you should have quite a bit of stockpile of these guys so you might indulge and get those items uh, which are a little, a little bit more sought after so I think that's probably where it's going to be it for now and I think for for the rest of the month until we get the October update I think this is how it's going to be look I'm not to, not to say that this is going to happen next update it could be the update after which I'm probably thinking that's going to be the case I'll be surprised if they do end up pushing a massive update and they release all those materials that make it readily available for us i'm not too sure but that's what i think but like i said those um those three new zones they're definitely placeholders they're there for now for people to explore for the service to, ha to handle the additional zones that have been implemented into the game right now which i think is probably a smart move for them because it gives them a bit of time and breathing space to actually um work out any sort of bugs, kinks, or any other sort of um, uh, bad mechanics that they sort of need to iron out before they push the full update. As I said, I reckon we'll, we'll have very little ash wood to find in the zone once this happens. Granite is gonna be coming from here. I would actually like to think that with the abandoned mine, that we will find a mine shaft later on. And I think that'll be a, f a first for the game as well. It's kind of like what the Spirit Cave had they sort of um, uh, how they sort of been implemented that sort of function mechanic it will sort of get implemented into here and we can go down into the mines itself and find our granite and I think that's where it's going to come from <coughs> excuse me and finally the buffalo pasture like I said I think the red zone will change it and have um, you know tougher buffalo for us to sort of hunt down and kill 
and we can get the better hide material. Cotton, I would think, I would like, to, sorry, linen, I would like to think would be made available in here only as well because, of, because it's a newer resource and harder to find. Anyway, that's my conclusion for the update. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying it? Are you happy finally that some of these materials are finally in game? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for, uh, for today. Thanks for stopping by as always. And like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. All right, guys. Cheers. Take it easy.